What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. So to run off up on last time, um, the Ottomans broke through at Venice and they are now assaulting us. And so the, the supporting army moved up as well as the garrison um, is moving up to attack us. So we will be holding back and playing very, very defensive. So further ado, let's crack on. Um, there's a lot of men. I've got that arm in um, Genoa that I can bring east port um, but I think I'll probably survive with enough men replenishing it so let's deploy back maybe even behind these walls so my weakest units can hunker down behind walls Let's do this. Set a unit of guns up. So those guys plus these two are going to be... Actually, to be honest, that's quite... Right. I need... Ah, oh, one thing I've not done is change my deployment settings. So you guys... Try hunkering down. Actually, no, you just stand and fight. So this flank is here. Oh, that's not ideal, actually, because I've not got my... It's a lone... It's a pretty compact place to put my artillery. Maybe I might have one unit of guns there. One unit maybe up on this... Move them down a bit. If they're up on this hill, they can fire over this set of guns without too much risk. Obviously, let's put some grenadiers down here. Backed up with some more infantry. Then I've got a couple of units of troops in reserve. Let's group. My weakest and my strongest cavalry together. And my two medium units together. And my general back in safety. Back towards safety. Okay, so a reinforcing enemy army is coming in from this direction, which isn't bad actually. Um, if they attack first. It'll be quite handy if they attacked first, really. To be honest, this flank I feel pretty protected. Whoa, they managed to just knock out a unit of artillery. Yep. First set of guns, gone. Okay, now they can aim at the second battery. I hope they've not got too many fancy... Shell types. Nope, just round shot. Let's make sure my grenadiers are on guard mode. Yep, so here comes a junk unit. Here comes a cavalry charge. Let's get my guns to focus on that. In fact, have my pike stand ready. To be honest, let's hold, hold the round shot so I can do canister shot. Blasted them with canister shot. We've killed the general of the enemy forces, so let's start to get my long range fire targeted at their set of guns. But do you know cavalry working around on the left? But my le my right is my left is pretty pretty strong. The shooting of Mussolini is gonna get cut to ribbons. Let's set you to keep targeting their artillery as much as 
Sam wants to be f wants to, wants to play funny. The Univazars that could be frustrating because they sit just out of range. There you go, they're Muslim are their melee troops, so they have to come into range of my guys. Too bad the sound's acting up. Hmm. Not quite sure what that is. There we go. Cavalry take him out. Cavalry retarget the Zemondori horsemen that are coming in hard and fast. My cavalry can take them out, and then they'll hopefully charge on into the Azars. At least that would be my preference. If we can get these guys to rout quickly. Just keep my guys attacking them to make sure they don't come back. Just hit the Azars just to make sure they don't cause too much trouble, especially as we've got some actual troops coming in. As they are light troops, they fall hard and fast. Charge them back to come and deal with these Muslim that have returned. Bashi Bazooks are ready to move in. The cavalry's been routed. Okay, smash into these guys. Could probably do with my cavalry being over. Oh, no, there's some. Okay, there's unit of Azars that could deal with being charged. Then again, my guys are behind cover, so... Kintenis goes firewall on. So they engage the Bashi Bazooks. Okay, so my artillery to just pound straight at the... main forces heading our way. Bring my pikes over. Spin my cavalry around. Just counter charge the Bashi Bazooks. Man, my, my, cav my infantry are taking a bit of a pound in there. Send this cavalry in to attack through the town. To hit this unit because that unit of Azars is going to bite it. Okay, they've shat they're shattered, so they're probably not going to come back because they're so close to the because they're so close to the edge of the map. So you chase them down. This cavalry unit move back to replenish their strength. You guys stop firing. Actually, let's bring both these cavalry regiments back. Let's keep my pikes here. Here comes their main infantry block. There you go. Let's get firewall back on. Come on, the seventh. Zamandai pikemen have been routed. Oh, okay. My silly cavalry chased down their troops. So much so, we won't actually get them... Well, we won't get them killed, but... <laughs> Too bad they're all aiming at the Bashi Bazooks. The Gan Janitors would be the preference. Some 
manually aim at them. Keep aiming at the unit there. Charge my pikes up because the whole lot of. This is the garrison force that's now coming in. You should do so well against this Janissary unit. There's two units firing at will so they can put out much more firepower. Janissaries is walking into a wall of lead. Can you start to snipe at their long range artillery? First round, what do you do? We've knocked out one of their guns. Okie dokie, let's pull. Okay, let's pull you guys back to make a bit more space on the flank. And let's get ready to put these troops in. It's a close range musketry. These units can do fire by rank into them, which is nice. Some of them can, anyway. Let's keep falling back. Let's let our infantry do as much of the work as we can. So those guys remain confident. Deploy unit of grenadiers out here to provide some extra firepower and let's start to wrap the flank up. Commit the cavalry. So it looks like they are getting ready charge in so let us do the same back to them although it looks like their scent is broken so you focus on the Israelis it's got a cavalry out on the flank ready to charge into the flank of these swines They routed and they made my troops get into a funny position. There you go, these Janissaries are now in an uncomfortable position. Because they are being engaged by pikemen and are getting resolutely torn apart. Just goes to show the value of pikes even in a modern era. So get my infantry to form their line again, because these are these are Islamic swordsmen. They're not terrifying, but Bashi Bazooks are moving in. So you guys get reloaded and pour fire. Bayonet charge with my grenadiers. Change your position. Basically, the longer these these swordsmen take to get ready, the more my men can. Well, to be honest, it looks like they're not going to have much of a chance to do shenanigans. They'll probably do some. Yes. Very steady for men getting shot in the back. Okay, the 
Jack Janus unit's broken. So my weak regiment of horse on into the eh, if you're in a mood keep going on you guys charge on go take out the azars looks like we knocked out their artillery let's charge into them let's take these three units and set up a new line yep they've been ridden down quite comprehensively get my cavalry out of that square formation trap yeah you're down to 36 men you have fun slaughtering the rest of those guys this cavalry unit keep killing their azars let's pull you out of the line let's get this infantry unit in Good. You guys charge on, take out that unit of Janissaries. There, there's some more Azars coming in. Actually, you may as well charge straight into this block of infantry there. Because this side of the battlefield has been won. So yeah, you're staying out of the way. You're waiting for your your other men to help protect you. So these men, these Azars, they're going to have a very bad time. Let's trigger these guys to Adlimba so we can pivot them to face more in the supporting units direction. Let's charge back on into this Grenadier unit because there is so few of them around left. Well, there's so few of them left on the map. So wants to kill this guy. I know they are a bit all over the place, so you may as well kill the Bashi Bazooks. So you guys set up a new line. Redeploy the artillery. general involved oh, man, this division is going to do a grand job in murdering the remaining units left fire into the square they can shoot at the horsemen there's an organ gun that may or may not cause problems the azars continue to be cheeky little scamps let's push up the artillery Shoot at their artillery. Deploy the cavalry, although it might be a bit late. Actually, my artillery can just focus on this as our unit. Focus on this grenadier unit at the back. So it looks like they're attempting to reform. Get my cavalry to take out their gun. Yeah, the Janissary unit broke at the last hurdle. I think it's 
probably it. But we're absolutely going to continue. So you, one of these guys charge onto this grenadier unit to make sure they die. You make sure you kill this gun crew. Good. You charge onto them. Now oh, there's one Bashi Bazook left. Six grenadiers. They might get him. Intercept this grenadier unit. 119 of them. 75, 60, 50, 40, 32, 24. Ah, some garrison hazards are still, still around. This grenadier unit has been killed. That looks like it's been damn beautiful destruction of their forces. For 732 Italians, we have taken the lives of nearly 4,000 Turks. That is pretty darn destructive. And if Venice wants to take it back, that's fine. Um, although, actually, I'd quite like it. <laughs> I'd quite like Venice. It would give me... Well, it buys me more strategic depth against the Ottomans. Like I said, it gives me an avenue to potentially get a second school. You know, look at Genoa, the angry little people on their island. We'll have to sort them out. Well, we will sort them out. Absolutely will. But right now, yeah, what could have been a very bad situation has been... Well, it's gone quite well. The Venetians have fallen back. This army here, are you really strong enough to deal with them? Could just go and lay siege and see what happens. Weak cavalry, weak artillery. Yeah, just hold on to them. Just besiege them. Phew. Okay, let's build a commercial port in our capital to expand trade. We can actually get spend some money repairing our ships and building another fifth rate. What I would like, though, is to spend. No, I won't completely replenish. And I'm going to auto that because that's a nothing. Army. Lost 360 men. And the city is ours. And it looks like there's just lots of fragments nearby that would want to take it back from us. So much so, I might actually cancel recruitment of that fifth to grow or to resupply my army. And then. No, don't make peace. I was a fool. I was about to see if I could make peace while I take over Turin. Well, before I took over Turin, but I'd like to take Venice. Take Venice and then try to sue for peace. It would be a temporary peace, and I suspect they wouldn't go for it, but it's worth a shot. I suspect really the smart game would have been to not bothering attacking Venice because the main the main strength in their area would have would have come towards me to try and relieve the city, whereas now they're a bit free to roam. But they are trying to reorganise. Yep, and the scholars trying to steal my technology. And they're trying to sally out from Turin. So let's do this. So my rationale here is there. Their artillery is weak. Their cavalry is weak. Pretty much our strong infantry corps is enough to carry us. on what their cavalry does. Ooh, this is actually a bit of a... F oh, this map. I remember this map. Okie dokie. So let's deploy on one of these edges. Let's deploy our infantry in... Well... Actually... I do that, and then if I do that, you guys can get ready to deploy on the left. With these guys. Actually, these guys are being reserve. Okay. You guys deploy your stakes. You guys halt fire at will. You guys deploy out on the flank. These guys are here just in case. 
Because with this terrain feature, what it means is that it gives us an opportunity they'll either be funneled towards us or they'll have to go all the way around. So having some of these guys in reserve actually gives us a good bit of breathing space. Obviously, fuse layers could power an absolutely honkingly huge line of stakes. And once they have, fall back. So they've got some horsemen going out on the flank. Artillery, fire at will. Which will probably send to attack. One of them attack one of the units of guns, the other one attack the musketeers. So my horsemen here, my infantry is here more or less as bait. I'll just draw them in to attack my expat infantry, where I'll just drop them into square formation and bing bang boom. No more cavalry than my hussars are here to act as a counter charging unit. So as we get within, as they get within range, it's going to be more crucial to you to deploy our guns. To deploy our guns in a way that will protect our infantry. So when they get close, we'll be switching to square formation. So our cavalry is not here to charge in immediately. It is here to wait. And these are our first look at the hussars, actually. The powder blue coats and yellow facings. Now they're here to charge in to try and help take out their cavalry. And how many men is this costing us? A handful. But with our fusiliers here, they're very strong. Very strong shooters. Compare them to a base unit, they are accuracy 56 compared to 40. Reloading skill 52 rather than 24, so they get off lots more shots and they carry more ammunition. So they do more damage, they reload faster, and they carry more ammo. So they're a very good unit to have. Okay, they are shattered, so that's. don't have to worry about them anymore. Start to target these infantry units. They've got garrison Islamic swordsman unit we need to be careful of. Ideally, we will break one flank. We'll break one flank and be able to push on the other. get them to break. It's got Zimitari Horsemen and the Islamic Swordsmen are something to be concerned about as are this as is this horseman charge. I mean they're gonna go straight into our spikes. You guys drop back into square formation again. Focus on our blocks of infantry. They started to charge us. It's not great because of all the units they charge, they've managed to actually charge the one that's the most susceptible to a, to a bayonet charge. Okay, send this infantry to tech to charge into them to help. Provide some support from the Fusiliers. Back here on the flank, this infantry is getting torn apart. So let's send my cavalry back to go protect them. These two guys, are, my Fusiliers, are probably not going to survive this conflict.
say they are. They're not doing very well at all. Okay, they've retreated from the flank. Bring our infantry back, bring our cavalry back, because when our fusiliers break, straight in with our cavalry. Because our light infantry won't do very well. I mean, yeah, we're cutting down a lot of our infusiliers, but we need to get in. still think they're doing okay. So let's focus all our shooting against that giant three musketeer unit. They are janissaries, they are good in melee, but they should start to feel a bit twitchy. Let's run this unit in into the line. These guys are doing a lot of good. Especially with this artillery support firing on the flank of the Janissaries. The Islamic Swordsmen are doing very poorly in terms of morale. One more volley might be enough to make them rout, but they're not going to get it. Okay, now they're losing. Losing a lot for these lemon swordsmen. Okay, cavalry. Go save everyone. Flank these, flank these Islamic swordsmen. flank because you're winning decisively against these men and they are shooting into the backs. There we go. They have low armour so they should actually suffer. Looks like their cavalry is actually causing my artillery to attack in to attack in um, uh, to fire in short bursts, well, not bursts, but you know, not volleys. Oh yeah, I've got incredibly overzealous. <laughs> Let's try pull my guns out. Just everyone fall back. I was very overzealous in my defence. Let's hope we can get... I mean, I'm, no, I'm like, these guys were ordered to fall back, but they still decided, nah, you know what, we're gonna hang about. You did good, Ottomans. Curse you. Don't worry, we'll be back, and in greater numbers. I suppose it just goes to show, those melee charges are pretty, pretty handy dandy. See, and I would have a notification up here going, Okay. Yeah, it was. It... Uh, they, they lost more men than us, but I'd like to think we we're in a better position to recover those losses. Like next turn, we should be able to deal with that reversal quite comprehensively. But let's see how things pan out. Oh, pardon me, because you never know. Okie doke. More infantry. That's the order of the day. That's the lesson I've learned from that. <laughs> ah, curse the Ottomans. I mean, you 
able to resolve that. This territory is mine. <laughs> Sorry, Venice. Okie dokie. Finish off replenishing this army here. You guys replenish, gather, get at Genoa, get a gun and an infantry unit, maybe two. No, just the one. So I do really need to start fixing this stuff because it costs a lot to repair. So I can repair the military buildings, that's something at least. Everyone is being taxed, right? Yep, yeah, good. Okay, I may now immediately switch tack from bayonets back to utilitarianism. Makes everyone happy, but it helps us grow. I mean, Barbary states usually want to trade for something, for something very, very silly. Oh, I'll take it. It's actually quite a short trade route as well. It just goes straight across the Med down to Tripoli. Awesome. But looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.